if you want to make text shrink and grow on the screen like you're seeing here, uh, it's not immediately obvious how to make that happen. So let's experiment a little bit. First we want to draw some words on the screen. So we'll come down here under drawing and grab a text block. And we want to make it bigger than standard. See this is standard, it's very, very small. So we're going to want to do a text size above it. And I'll just start off with a 50. And I'll make it say, hola. And let's put it closer to the center of the screen. And run. Okay, that looks good. Now, if we want to make it grow, well, this is the size, right? So we need a way to increment that. So let's just make a variable called size. And we'll set it to 50. And now we need to use that here. So whatever value we give it up in the first line of code, it's going to uh, give it that size. So when we run, you'll see there's no difference there. Now we need to increment size. So before that, we're going to say size equals size plus maybe 0 0.5. Let's try that. Now we can see it getting bigger, and I'm noticing that we need a background. So let's add a pink background. And now that's basically doing what we want to do. The only thing is uh, we also want it to shrink when it gets so big. So let's put in an if block, that's under control. And let's say if size gets bigger than say, I don't know, 200, then we want it to get smaller. So we're gonna need another counter pattern, but this time we're gonna say size equals size minus a value. Now if I put 0 0.5, what you're gonna notice is this one continues to make it grow by half a pixel every time the draw loop passes and this one's going to make it shrink half a pixel and those two are going to cancel each other out so when it gets to 200 it's just going to stop i'm not sure how big 200 actually is looks very, like it's right there uh, let's change that to 100. Okay, so it's stuck. In order to make it shrink, I need to make this number larger than this number. This one's making it grow. I need it to shrink by more than it grows, so let's try this. Uh, and now I'm stuck, you see, like it's shrinking and growing. If I come down here and watch the size variable, you'll see that it's going up and down and up and down and up and down. And it, it can't get past that that loop. So what we're going to have to do is make another variable called direction. And we'll start off by making the direction grow. And now we can say um, if, if the direction double equals grow, then we want it to do this to increase its size. Um, else, we want it to shrink its size. And now, if size gets bigger than 100, we want to change the value of grow to shrink. Let's try that. You can see size going up when it gets to 100. Oh, that didn't work. It's because this is supposed to be direction. Let's try it again. And let's watch the value of direction. So when we hit run, direction is grow, and when this gets to 100, direction turns into shrink. Now the other thing we would want to do is when it gets smaller, so let's copy just this one. Control C, Control V. And now let's say if the size gets less than zero, we want to change the direction 
back to grow. Oh, we had some little issue there at the very bottom, didn't we? Let's see if there's a hiccup again this time. There is a hiccup, so let's make this less than one. It looks as though when it gets to zero, uh, it sets itself back to the default size. Well, that's much better. And now if you wanted it to go faster than this, you would just adjust this 0.5. So like, let's make this one. Uh, let's make them both two to make it go really fast. So size equals size plus two, otherwise size equals size minus two. Ooh, we're getting that error again. So let's let's make it flip around when it gets to five. There we go. And if you wanted it to uh, pulse a little more quickly, you could change this to 50 maybe. You could even change the lower boundary to maybe 15. There you go. That's how to make text pulse or change sizes.